I think the word retirement is a very negative one. There's a very fascinating study done of uh, retirement ages across Europe. And they had a standard memory test, just learning a list of words that they gave to people, thousands of people throughout Europe. And they just plotted how well people did in this memory test with what the average retirement age was in that country. And they found the, the lower the average retirement age, the poorer people did on the memory test. Now, this is just a correlation. It doesn't prove cause. But it does suggest to me that um, you know, retirement is a double-edged sword. It may be great to leave a job you don't like, but we, our brains need the challenge of day-to-day -day involvement in the world. I'm quite optimistic of the future of, of ageing. I mean, a girl, and an average baby girl born in Dublin today is, is very likely to live to 100. So we have this um, increase in life expectancy. Uh, if we increase life expectancy, we will increase cognitive life expectancy as well. Um, I, I remember when I studied people with stroke in Edinburgh in the 1980s, the average age of someone with a stroke was in the early 70s. By the time I moved to Cambridge in the 90s, and I was studying people with a stroke, the average age was in the early 80s. So there was an improvement in health in the cardiovascular system, which resulted in older people functioning much better at older ages. Some people feel that they're no longer useful to society. They're somehow just on the fringes of it. And feeling useful is one of the great brain-changing uh, drugs. It literally changes the chemistry of the brain and the functioning. There was a study done in the States taking older retired people and getting them to, to volunteer to go and work in inner city schools as teaching, doing teaching and teaching assistants. And they measured the cognitive function of the older people before and after this volunteering and they significantly improved their cognitive function as a result of them engaging in the challenge, a very difficult, sometimes stressful, you know, job. Um, but it, 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 it improve their brain function. Now, I have to say that my own brother retired in his early 60s, and he's been <laughs> happy as Larry, travelling and <laughs> doing his garden and, and you, know, you know, doing courses and all that. So he's very, it's not, it's not true for everyone, but for many people there is a feeling of, of not contributing, and, and that's very important to try and deal with.